Okay, I guess it really took it out of him. He's had a very stressful couple of days there. Paul Barger there after two tickets. He got a speeding ticket and a ticket for um, not having proof of insurance there uh, from a cop in um, Idaho. And uh, I guess that really wore him out. I guess that really got him tired because he did an eight-hour live stream here. Eight hours and 11 minutes. And a chunk of it is him taking a nap. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, he really left the camera running and take, took a nap. So, and, and then, of course, we get, uh, uh, then he drives around and uh, does some eating, goes to a, goes to a restaurant, and uh, gets a big, I don't know, he does a lot of eating in this video, okay? He's eating in the van, or the bread truck. No bread, though. I didn't, I didn't notice any bread. And then he goes out and eats at a restaurant there. So I guess uh, I don't I don't know, man. So uh, again, you know, <laughs> eight hours, eleven minutes. I don't know. Jeez. I. You know, again, we did see that there was a video a couple years ago, way way back when, when I was first starting my channel. Uh, what was his name? Grand Grandpa. There's a guy in Delaware. What was his name? I forget now. Uh, Grumpy Grant. What was his name? I forget. The ch I can't remember the channel name. But he actually fell asleep during his live stream. And people were actually worried that he'd had some sort of, uh, you know, um, an issue. I don't know. But uh, anyway. I don't know, man. So what's Paul going to do? What's Paul going to do? <laughs> Back in the bread truck. All alone and feeling blue. At the end of the video, at the very end, the eight minute, the eight hour and five sec, five minute video, the eight hour and five minutes segment, he's back in bed and blowing his nose. So, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> I I don't know his girlfriend. Where's his girlfriend? I, we don't see her in this video. Is uh, in this live stream? Is is she still around or what? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't watch. I didn't watch all of it. Anyway, there he is. Uh, Man, this is making me tired and I just got up. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Dawn of Van Life. She's uh, saying bye to the Bay Area. Uh, this is her live stream here. And holy cow, woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, lucky day. It's 250 minus 30%. Now, the thing is, and I've always said this, if you're going to give somebody that much Dinero uh, on Super Chat, you know, YouTube takes 30% of that. So that's, uh, let's see, my brain, 75 bucks. So you just gave $75 to YouTube. I'm sure they're happy. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, man. I don't know. So anyway, uh, bye to the Bay Area. After finally, you know, fixing up that box truck, huh? All right, so uh, Dawn says that she is doing some traveling around California. She said uh, she's headed down south to Southern California there from the Bay Area. And uh, she said also that the, the, she's making progress on the box truck bu the box truck build. She built she bought the box truck, what was that, a while ago, many months ago. And she's been working to build it out, but it's not done yet. And she needs to do especially some cosmetic stuff on it and... Uh, and that she's not ready to go do some heavy duty like cross country traveling yet, but she is ready to uh, kind of get out of the Bay Area. So that's the update on Dawn of Van Life. I raised a question uh, that just came to my fertile brain. Um, 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 Dawn, what was it? A two? A, a, I, I, my time frames get all mixed up. A long time ago, over a year and a half ago, something like that. Dawn gave uh, Meek, remember Meek, the guy from New York that was also living out in the Bay Area there with his girlfriend, gave uh, gave um, Meek his her old van after he had a fire in his, and then he did a video, I guess it was earlier this year, where he was going to be traveling across country back to New York, and he bought a whole lot of equipment and stuff in a big studio there in California. And I don't know, he's got some camera gear. And, and then I haven't heard a word from him, and it's been a number of months now. And I'm trying to find his channel. I know I'm still sub to him, but I haven't seen anything of his pop up. And, of course, looking for a guy in his van, it just doesn't bring anything up that links to his channel. So if anyone knows what's up with Meek, 
and the van and what's going on with that, let me know, huh? Camo Army, come through for me, huh? I left North Carolina and headed to Grand Junction, Colorado, or Arizona, excuse me. Formerly known as Valley AZ, okay. Uh, we got an update here from Camp RV Camper Marie. She was here in North Carolina about a month ago and we... Uh, we had a, did a little live stream together, and uh, she is out now. At a, that there's a fancy schmancy. I'll just say it: a fancy schmancy campground where it's like a hundred and ninety dollars a night. You get these tents, like you know, really beautiful. They're really beautiful. It's out near the Grand Canyon, and she has got a jobby poo working at the uh, campground. So she is a hardworking gal. She you know doesn't want to rely on you know eight hour live streams and super chats and stuff like that. And uh, so anyway, uh, so she did find a job out there, and then she decided to head west from North Carolina. Now, she was planning to stay here in North Carolina through a good chunk of the rest of the summer, and she did have a job lined up, but she just couldn't get a confirmation on that. And then she says whenever when she got back, when she got out to Arizona, guess what? That job came through, and she was already out there, and this is a nice job. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice campground, and she's having some s'mores there. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, whatever a s'more. I've never had a s'more. I've never had a s'more. I don't think, what's it, like a marshmallow and chocolate or, I don't know what it is. I don't care. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, good for, good for Marie. She is out there and, uh, and it's a, a nice area and, uh, she's, there she is, there she is, there, there's Marie. And she's having a good time, so, uh. Our, all our best to Marie, and I guess I guess we'll be seeing her down at Quartzsite come winter time with all the gang. So uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> a new one from Camper Van Kenny. There, uh, work, again working on a motorcycle. Very little of the dogs in it. You know, people want to see the dogs. It's a twenty-five minute video, and people want to see the dogs. And uh, it's uh, yeah, again, you know, he's he doesn't travel much anymore. He didn't kind of. Circles Arizona and goes over to New Mexico now and then. I don't know. Uh, got a Honda Monkey motorcycle. Gee. We got all these nomads that they just are out of content and it's just all working on stuff. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, got it. we do have somebody who actually gets out there is uh, Farsty Farst in this one. Uh, yeah. The Ninja Foodie Trail. Now that's doing something. Look at him. There he is up there. You know yeah, that. Now that is. Uh, how about uh, let's get uh, let's get Kenny or Derek up there and do, do that. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got a new one from the Grateful Glamper. There, uh, very good video here, and uh, it's a kind of a controversial issue. Uh, the ten-year rule. If you don't know what that is, apparently a number of RV parks they don't want a lot of riffraff and old beat-up junked vehicles in their uh, campgrounds. So what they do is they impose a rule that basically you have to have a a camper or a vehicle that is ten years old or newer. Okay, you know if you're going in there with some twenty-year-old vehicle that's whatever. You know, that, you know people. A lot of people are driving around twenty, fifteen-year-old vehicles today, and they're all in, they look in pretty good shape. You know, I would say, you know, that's kind of a, yeah, you want something like that, you know. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, they should maybe, you know, take an inspection of your vehicle as you walk in. If you're, if you're over 10 years old, uh, you know, and if it's in good shape, why not let you in? I don't know. I, you know, if I was uh, running the world, I would, uh, I would uh, change things around. I would say, hey, you know, I, I granted, you know, we don't want beat up crummy campers, Camp. Maybe they should do a physical inspection too. I don't know. You got a crazy beard and you're bald and you know ripped up camo pants. You can't come in here. I don't know. No, but um, you know we need a suit and a tie and a tuxedo. Good video here as always from the Grateful Glamper. The ten year rule and uh, yeah. We got a new one from Snow and Kurt down there in Panama. They have traveled the entire, almost the entire length of Central America, heading southward and uh, a sketchy bridge. They're in the uh, kind of jungle-ish zones of Panama. Always good stuff from Snow and Kurt. Many sketchy bridges down there, huh? Got Itchy Boots continuing her travels around South Africa. She's been in South Africa, Namibia, and now crosses into Botswana. So uh, continuing her travels down there. 
Again, it's always a hassle when people, you know, leave one country. Again, Snow and Kurt have had that issue going from like, you know, so many countries there in Central America and you always have to stop and go through all the rigmarole and bureaucracy of crossing borders and it, the, the same thing is in Africa. And uh, so anyway, this is not a like border crossing where there's like tons and tons of people around. It's pretty deserted, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, and a checking out a Botswana grocery store. <laughs> Botswana version of Costco, it looks like. Anyway, anyway, so continuing to drive around uh, South Africa as, uh, you know, they're now, you know, again, the seasons are reversed now. So they are in late winter heading into spring. So, uh, yeah, it should, uh, should be warming up if it ain't warm enough already. Hey, a couple of giant steps backwards here. We got, uh, we got the Wayward Wags couple here, and they're talking about, again, you know, we are seeing the uh, virus flare up in certain areas, the Delta variant, the whatever, you know, and some areas are going back to masks, and some campgrounds are putting their restrictions back on there. Everybody thought, I guess, you know, hey, back in the spring, that, hey, we're getting back to normal again, and in many respects, we have on a lot of the campgrounds, but things are kind of backtracking. So anyway, good, a good, what am I going to say this? You should watch this one. And they're back, yeah, whatever that means uh, for four years. Well, they say basically so far things aren't shutting back down again, but they're out on the West Coast and those states seem to be the ones, Washington, Oregon, California, seem to be the ones that at least back in the early days of the pandemic were the most restrictive in terms of camping and stuff like that. So far, they haven't really encountered too many restrictions yet, but they're worried that maybe some campgrounds may be shut down. But uh, I don't know. The, the, the political will to do that isn't there this time. I think people are just plum tuckered out and tired of all that and just kind of fend for yourself, folks. I don't know, man. But anyway, a nice update here from the uh, Wayward Wags couple there. I like that shirt. That uh, that's, that's a nice shirt. Uh, yeah. The plans are basically, as long as the parks and stuff are all open, campgrounds are still open out west, they're going to stay out there. But if things start to close down, they're going to make a beeline back to Florida. Of course, Mr. DeSantis will probably, you know, Mr. DeSantis will keep things open. So that's right. That's right. Right? Hey, Second Chance Hiker here. Uh, interesting video. He is uh, in Montana. And uh, with the uh, loosening of the border restrictions between the U.S. and Canada, he's going to be heading up to Canada so that he can go to Alaska, which is, of course, in the United States. So he is going to be leaving the United States for a little while to get to Alaska. So that's his plan. Now, the question about that is it's kind of late to be doing Alaska trip right now. We're talking about mid-August, right? That's right, the 19th. I mean, you know, the cold weather is going to be coming up to Alaska pretty soon. So, uh, I don't know. If this was April or something, or May, I might say, hey, that's a really cool idea. But, I don't know, man. Alaska, at the end of summer, I don't know. We, now, we still have we still have Adventure Van Man Brian up there. Up there doing the fishing thing on the south coast. No videos from him. That's interesting. I would have thought he could have at least put something updated. Uh, I missed it. Did I miss it? I don't know. I've been checking Instagram. I haven't seen anything from uh, Adventure Van Man Brian up there. Maybe you can hunt, hunt for him. Don't stalk him. No, do not stalk Adventure Van Man Brian, but just go see if you can find him and see if he's okay. Okay? So <laughs> when you're up there, second chance hiker, see if you can find Adventure Van Man Brian and make sure he's okay so that we, we don't worry about him. Anyway, that ought to do it for our little, uh, Roundup video for the uh, Thursday, the 19th of August, 2021. Thanks for watching, vlog.